Hello, thanks for watching. So, I have yet another update on the House Bill 272, which is Alabama's constitutional carry bill. So, great news, it did pass the House floor yesterday. Uh, we had a... So, the House is made up of 105 members. Right now, the party line is separated by 76 Republicans. 28 Democrats, and we have one vacant seat. The vote went like this. We had 65 yeses and 37 votes against the bill. Uh, I'm going to have a picture here of the Republicans that voted against this bill. And this is election year, people, so take note of who voted against it and make sure you let them know that they did wrong and we don't want them representing us anymore. So from here, it will go to the to the Senate. It'll vote on it, and if it passes there, then it'll go on to the governor, who can either sign it into law or she can veto it. And if it does happen to get vetoed, then I believe that we have the majority back in this bill to go ahead and uh, overturn that veto and sign it into law. And I don't know how the Senate vote will go. I don't know when the vote will go. I haven't heard a date yet. I'll try to let you know whenever I find that out. Uh, you can find out on my Tactical Cowboy Facebook page. I'll post an update there if I don't do a video. I'll have a link to that down below. But yeah, this very exciting news. It did pass with two amendments, and it's what we've already talked about in previous videos. You have the, the one amendment saying that you will still need a permit to carry in certain locations that's governed under federal law. And then also there's the one that we're not happy about at all saying that you have to notify a police officer uh, when interacting with them, say in a traffic stop, you know, that you are armed. There are weapons in the vehicle. But, again, we do have the Fifth Amendment, so I don't know if there will be any penalties for not answering the question if he was to ask. Uh, actually, the way to understand it, then, you only have to tell him if they ask. Again, if you don't answer it, I don't know if there will be any consequences to that. I'll definitely going to be checking into that. Uh, you know, it's not a perfect bill because of those amendments, or at least that one in particular. But... It is a step in the right direction. That can be fixed later, but for now it's going to keep pushing forward and hope that it comes out on the other side without any more amendments and hopefully that one removed. Uh, subscribe to stay up to date for the latest videos and latest news on this HB 272. Now it'll be SB something. But yeah, stay up to date. Keep calling. Check link down below. I'll have a link to find out who your senator is so you can be calling, texting, emailing. Just keep fighting, helping push this through. I appreciate you watching, and until next time, Tata Cowboy out.